This is the grand finale, episode four in our series, how to find the hidden money in your business. If you've mixed any of the previous episodes, click there and it will take you right back to the beginning and we can get you caught up. And basically what we've been doing in these episodes is we've been looking at where is the hidden money inside of your business or more specifically, where to look to uncover the hidden money in your business because there isn't any one size fits all answer to this. It's a case of training yourself to start to notice the opportunities, but there are key areas of your business where you can start to look. So on previous episode, we've looked at focusing on where money is already changing hands in your business so that you can increase that somehow by having more money change hands and or money changing hands more frequently. Um, we also looked at the value of relationships. And you might think relationships in a, in a business are just your paying clients and customers, but we looked at how you could have relationships with your suppliers or your vendors. Um, we also looked at joint venture partners, even past clients and customers, and maybe even people that haven't been customers at all, but had previously expressed an interest. Those are all legitimate places to go and explore where there could be more hidden potential and uncovered potential. But I always start with, uh, the people who've already bought from you. Those are the people who are most likely to purchase from you again. So in this episode, we're gonna be looking at the final place you can look to uncover the hidden money in your business. And specifically, I wanna to talk to you about undervalued assets. Now, what do I mean about undervalued assets? Well, I am thinking about the things uh, that you are using day in and day out in your business and they're essential to you doing business and they help you you know, be more successful in business, do business better, smoother, um, but you haven't really thought about the value that they might represent to other people. So let me give you an example. Um, a few years ago, I launched a product called How to Attract Corporate Clients. And when I was working on that program, I was basically pulling together my experience from about 10 years previously of how I'd won business with corporate clients. And in every single of one of those instances, those clients had sought me out. So the things that I'd done to make myself visible in the marketplace and then position myself in a way that those clients saw me as a credible and worthy partner for their business. Now, um, during that time, I had written many, many business proposals, um, several of which had won rather large contracts with corporate businesses. And um, as I was working on this, I wouldn't have assigned any real value to those contracts because they were just bits of paper that had helped me to win customers. But then I started to see them differently and I realized that actually the value in those pieces of paper, in those proposals, wasn't just in the business that they had generated directly to me, there was how-to information in those proposals. In fact, for someone who didn't really know how to write a business proposal to win business from a corporate client, that was like gold dust because I had a template, I had a structure, I had key things that I did and I had a high success rate winning corporate contracts and this proposal template was a key part of my success. So suddenly I started to look at those proposals differently. I recognized that they weren't just things that had helped me in business, but they were things that had the potential to be how-to information that could add a lot of value to other people who had the same goals. So I would class that as a, a, an asset inside of my business that went from having zero additional value because I wasn't utilizing it to actually something that I then used and made a bonus for my Attract Corporate Clients program and it helped me make sales. So it added value to the buyers of that program, but it also helped to generate more value for my business. Does that make sense? So I wanna challenge you in this episode to look at what are some of the things that you might be using in your business day in, day out, that you kind of take for granted, but actually could add some real value to other people. Um, so an example I can give you is um, a friend of mine that specializes in working with salons, hair salons, and she really helps them to increase revenue through their products. She has a system. And that is something that she used in her own business, but then she realized that other businesses could benefit from that. So she packaged it up and then that became now a, an asset, a true asset that could generate income in other ways. So um, just some things to get you started. Feel free to add your comments 
in the boxes below, in the chat below, and I'd love to continue the conversation around this. But I hope this has sparked your thinking and got you thinking about some of the undervalued assets inside of your business.